books to help you overcome your fear of writing. So number one, we have got Big Magic. Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert is one that I think most people have heard of, although if you haven't, don't worry about it. And its subtitle is Creative Living Beyond Fear. Now, this book is full of wisdom and has been written in a way to help herself rather than an audience. By doing so, she's created this kind of immersive, honest account of what it feels like to be a fearful writer. Elizabeth Gilbert is a big proponent of writing for yourself. Don't write for others, but write for yourself. And one of my favourite parts of this book is on page 98 of the hardback. And this is a section on motives. And she says, you are not required to save the world with your creativity. For example, whenever anybody tells me they want to write a book in order to help other people, I always think, oh, please don't. Please don't try to help me. And by this, she means that she once wrote a book in order to save herself rather than to save other people. But by doing so, not only did she not place a burden on the audience with her kind of earnest wanting to save them, which is what she writes about here, because the audience will feel the weight of your heavy intention if you're trying to save them. But by doing it for herself, by writing for herself, by trying to figure herself out, she actually helped other people in the process. And what she's saying is, if she had written a, a how-to book about finding yourself, which she did through writing Eat, Pray, Love, it would have been a completely different book and it could have meant that not as many people related to it or identified with aspects of it as they did. And she says here at the bottom, consider this very book, for example, which you are right now holding in your hands. Big Magic is obviously a self-help guide, right? But with all due respect and affection... I did not write this book for you. I wrote it for me. I wrote this book for my own pleasure because I truly enjoy thinking about the subject of creativity. It's enjoyable and useful for me to meditate on this topic. If what I've written here ends up helping you, that's great and I will be glad. That would be a wonderful side effect. But at the end of the day, I do what I do because I like doing it. And I think that is such great advice. I know from Instagram, the Confident Creative Club, people I've mentored, there's always an emphasis from people, women who want to write, and they say, but what if my audience don't enjoy it? Well, forget about your audience and do what Elizabeth Gilbert recommends, and that is write to save yourself. Write for yourself. And then if other people enjoy it, that's great, but that should not be your sole intention with what you write. And with that kind of intention in mind, I think this is something that Sarah Painter has done well with Stop Worrying and Start Writing. How to Overcome Fear, Self-Doubt and Procrastination. Now, this is independently published and it's based on Sarah's podcast, called The Worried Writer, which she no longer does, but is still available to kind of binge listen to on whichever podcast platform you use. And in this book, she's written basically about all the lessons that she's learned because she is a very fearful writer. So she's written down everything she's learned over the course of her route to publication, but not only that, but what comes after publication, because as Sarah writes inside, her fears actually grew after she gained a publisher. Sarah has got various chapters in here, 
very sort of straightforward and taking you into it gently by you know starting with your equipment so it's a practical book from someone who has been there and is still there she's also got sections on setting goals getting a special writing hat making friends with your worries building habits there you go that's about getting a special writing hat and in this section rewire your brain on time i found it really useful funnily enough because it's a question that I asked her. How do I learn to write for just 10 minutes? I feel that if I don't have a few hours uninterrupted, there's no point in starting and just doing 10 minutes. How do I change that? And I asked her this question because I always felt I had to have a big writing day in front of me if I was going out in the afternoon or if I was meeting a friend for breakfast or if I had to clean out the chickens and the ducks which was going to take up a couple of hours of my time then I felt it wasn't any point getting into a writing routine. I mean I've learned now that you don't need hours and hours and sometimes if you have hours and hours it can actually be a reason to procrastinate if you have just 10 minutes then you write as much as you can for 10 minutes and i think this is something that a lot of people kind of hide behind the oh i don't have time to write because they're scared they're scared of what might happen if they do write so this she's got some great tips in here and i really do recommend this book if you are struggling with your fears and it's stopping you from writing. So the next book is called The Successful Author Mindset and this is by Joanna Penn. Again, this is independently published and Joanna Penn, I think many people have heard of her, but she is an author entrepreneur. She's got the Creative Pen, the very successful podcast all about being an author entrepreneur and she has been very successful and this is called the successful author mindset a handbook for surviving the writer's journey and what i love about this is that joanna has been there done that so she writes with great authority and the content for part one she if you look there, she's got all the magic words, self-doubt, imposter syndrome, validation, fear of failure, fear of rejection, criticism, inner critic, fear of judgment, perfectionism, writer's block, procrastination, all of those worries that many, many of us all have, even comparisonitis or everyone else is better than me. That's something that I in particular i'm struggling with at the moment so i love that she has all of these issues in nice bite-sized chunks and then in part two she talks about what happens after publishing and th again this is a worry for me it's a kind of fear of success thing and worrying about being overwhelmed dealing with criticism or haters or trolls that sort of thing and then she talks about tips for success on the author journey including knowing thyself which is actually a page i'd marked out and I think this is a really important thing. And I talk a lot myself about having a writing journal and to figure out what is blocking you in your writing journal by asking yourself questions. And then when you come to something in the future and you know you're struggling or you're procrastinating, it helps to know yourself. If you recognise why this is happening, you find it's quicker to get over um or to push through it is probably a better description rather than getting over so yeah 
again another book that i highly recommend and joanna has got lots of great books non-fiction books all about self-publishing and being an author entrepreneur and all of that juicy stuff if you're interested in that side of things my fourth book is write it all down by kathy Rensenbrink. Now, Write It All Down has been published by Bluebird, which is an imprint of Pan Macmillan, and it was published this year in 2022. And I have to say, it's possibly my favourite non-fiction book from 2022. This is a book for writers, um, specifically those who would like to mine their own experiences and write memoir. However, this part, part one, preparation, is valid for any sort of writer. And I think there is so much wisdom in there that both myself and members of the Confident Creative Club who have been reading it we all thought Kathy is just like us. She's one of us. She has the same worries and fears, despite being a published writer, that we have as unpublished writers. Many of us, some of us are published, but many of us are unpublished, but we all have the same fears. So I highly recommend it. And then in part two, she talks about excavation. It's basically mining for gold which she's actually put there and go going through your experiences your journaling and all that sort of thing to find what to write about how to be a good storyteller whether to plan or not and things like that then we've got the crafting and editing section and then getting work done so a brilliant brilliant book and I've not read all of it yet. I'm currently working my way through it and I'm annotating it at the same time. So I will do a a complete video just on this book because I think there is so much gold there. And if you flick through, you can see just how... Oh. <laughs> they're sticking together but just how much i have highlighted there's so much there and this bit in particular stop building dams stop damming your flow so almost as soon as we have the urge to express ourselves we are besieged with worry and doubt that acts as a block why does that happen to us why? It's so frustrating. Anyway, she talks about that and more in Write It All Down. And then finally, we have The Way of the Fearless Writer by Beth Kempton. And I have been raving about this book and I've done a whole video on this book, which I will link in the description box below. It is published by Piatkus and I found it so useful. And you can see... Again, I've annotated it here, but I find it's I found it so useful and it helped me to figure out that I needed to relinquish control and to write for myself and not with a literary agent or a publisher in mind. And this takes us full circle back to Elizabeth Gilbert, who also talks about writing for yourself. So again, highly recommended it's got a japanese influence to it so if that's your cup of tea then definitely give it a read okay so that is my five books are that can help you if you fear writing fear the process of writing or where the writing might lead you what happens if you fail why you're procrastinating what happens if you get haters all that sort of stuff so i do highly recommend all of those books and i will link them all below so thank you very much for watching and i will see you again soon